Kelly was sick. Yeah. So. And that's the thing. Like, we have modern medicine today, but yes. they lost so many, so many kids to uh, things that are, you know, now totally treatable and or we have vaccines for. So this is our combination uh, bathroom and laundry room. It's missing several things that we would think should be part of a bathroom today. So <laughs> if you needed to use the toilet, you could head out to the outhouse back in the garden. Um, and if you wanted to take a bath, you had to fill up this big wooden tub. Um, and that involved taking a bucket, you would go out, fetch water from your cistern, bring in, heat it on the stove, pour it in here, and you would have to repeat that a bunch of times until you had enough water for a bath. Because it was so much work, um, they only took baths usually once a week on a Saturday night so that they would be clean for church. And there was a definite pecking order. Um, dad got to go first, and then mom, and then the children in order of age. So the oldest down to the baby, and that's where um, don't throw the baby out when the bath water comes from. Because <laughs> at that point, the water would be pretty filthy. <laughs> yeah. um, and they would use this same tub then for doing laundry by hand. Um, and that, again, was a pretty involved backbreaking procedure for the women. Um, and then here is our kitchen. Um, so here we have some different uh, utensils and things they would use to prepare the food. This is a dough box um, where they would use um, that to let the bread dough rise. They would bake. Um, so bread was a staple of their diet and they also would have a large garden out in the back where they grew vegetables, some fruit trees. Um, and here you have a drying rack so they could dry some of that fruit and save it for the winter months. Um, and nut trees as well. We know that Mr. Mueller um, had nut trees that he kind of grew as a cash crop to supplement his income. Also out in the back, uh, there would be a cow. They needed some milk for their children. Um, they would have some chickens for eggs um, and possibly a pig or a sheep. All of these houses that are along Main Street run back to a creek, which I'll show you on a map in another room. But they did have a source of water then that wasn't too far away. Um, and then this is where the original fireplace would have been. Um, it would have been a hearth like you're used to seeing in um, colonial houses. Mm -hmm. But Lidditz had a number of large fires. Um, and mm -hmm. there was one in 1838 that burnt down six houses on Main Street and damaged a lot of other buildings. And by that time, this style of stove, the 10 plate stove had been invented. Um, mm -hmm. And so they made some rules and regulations in town to have something that was considered a little um, safer to try yeah. and avoid fire. But it's a 10 plate stove because it can come apart into 10 pieces for transportation if you needed to move it. And one of the kids jobs would be to go fetch firewood that they could put in the bottom there. And then on top you have your stove. So there's a coffee kettle. They did drink coffee. <laughs> um, some irons on top that you would use to iron your clothes. And then you use your oven for baking bread. Um, here are some cookie cutters. So they did the bake mm. cookies. Moravian sugar cake is also a pretty well-known um, sweet treat that they would have made. And over on the wall here, this is a coffee or spice grinder. This would not have been in an individual home. This would have been in the community store. Mm -hmm. um, so they were very resourceful and they tried to grow and make everything they could themselves. But certain things like coffee and spices um, mm -hmm. would be imported. And so those things they would go get at the community store. Um, the gun on the wall, that would be a rifle that was only for hunting. Um, men and boys could go out and, and hunt some animals for some protein in their diet. Um, mm -hmm. But the Moravians were non-combatant um, or pacifist. They didn't want to you know, kill anyone in a war effort. And that's why they ended up having the military hospital, because that mm -hmm. was a way that they could contribute to the war effort without actually fighting. Nice. Yeah. Now, you said the children drank coffee? Um, I don't, 
I don't know if the children did. They may have. Um, but I know the adults did. And even mm. they have a love feast at the Moravian Church, and they'll serve, you know, coffee and buns. So I think the kids get chocolate milk now. So, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know Definitely. about back in the day. They didn't probably have chocolate milk. So. You're right. So that's what I was like thinking. I thought that's what you said. Sorry, with the mask and everything. You I get know. It, this so. is not historically accurate part of the costume. But I know, but they're a pain because I can't hear at times, like, you know, talking through it. It's hard because yeah. it's. Sounds like something that you said.